Hey what's up guys, welcome to a new video. The other day one guy asked me how I made my Progressive House baseline, so I decided to make a tutorial about it. And I want to tell you that next Friday 16th of March, I'm gonna release a new track called Zenith. And it's a Progressive House track and if you want to release in a, a really quick preview, just follow me on Instagram and I will post there a nice video about it. And let's go to the tutorial. Alright, here I have just four four bass lines, one sub bass and one kick to make the tutorial. Um, I'm not gonna talk about the kick, just a top kick, a bass kick. They go to the bus, have some limiting and things like that. You have to think that um, most of the times you're not gonna have a really fat bass line uh, with just one sound, right? With just one um, preset, with one synth, you're not gonna get it. So what you have to think is that you have to combine the, to layer some uh, bass lines and not layer similar bass lines. I mean, if you have one bass and you add another one that sounds exactly the same, you're not going to have a, a, a bigger sound. You're just going to have a louder sound. But it's the same as you, if you increase the volume. So here I have first this silent. I'm going to put all of this without effects a really um, low bass line this is the second bass line it covers more or less the same frequencies as the as the first bass line but it's like uh, this one is more is is more is drier you know it's more in the center in your face and this is like softer it covers more um, like the space that the other one doesn't cover. Then I have a higher one. We cover the high spectrum, and another one on the highs. That is the same as as the mid one. I have one bass right in your face and really uh, distorted. One that's also on the mid low, but is softer. Uh, really distorted to the in your face high and one soft in the highs. So I cover everything. I have punch on the bass line is so in your face but it also covers all the space. For example if I have only these two bass lines they sound uh, powerful and dirty but um, you need to cover more space you know so if I had to these two I have a baseline that covers a lot of space, but they are not powerful. So if you combine four, this four, right now it's gonna sound bad because there's not EQ. But if you layer them and you add effects, you have a powerful baseline, right? So let's go step by step. This first, as it's on the on the the main area of this base is the low mid. I decrease it on the highs, and I got the very uh, low end because I'm gonna have a different sub bass for that. The second bass. As you can see, as this first bass line um, has better low end, um, in this second one I decrease it here a bit to give more space to the first bass line and also decrease it here on the highs. And as this one uh, has a, a peak on this point, I increase it here a bit on the same point to cover the space. And I also did a low cut. Now the high. This one has the low end cut, also decrease here because this area is for the first base line. Uh, it decreases here a bit because this second base has a, uh, a boost here and I boost the highs. I will talk about this later. And this uh, this fourth bass line, bass line. has the same. Decreases on the low. It has a low cut. Decreases on the low. A peak here because of this base, and increase here. And if you can see, I have a peak here and an increase here on this base. All right. So what you try to do is reduce on. on and one and one place in one base, 
I increase this in the same place with the other base so I cover all the sp all the spectrum also here on the highs what I did is I use this gross bit with this preset and just a little bit to give some movement to the base if I make it harder you know gives more movement to the base and makes it um, faster also on this one all right now on the, the I link all of them to the to one bus and here what I have first of all is a uh, an EQ what you do is reduce a bit here because this area is for the leads increase a bit here and has a, a, a low cut a higher one because I felt that it has oh, too much low end then I use OTT if you want to know how I use this uh, I have a tutorial I will link down below it gives a bit more of distortion then this EQ is just uh, for the for the mixing part when when I mix with the chords and the leads I reduce it a bit here because it has too much this for the chords and the and the leads and I had uh, to cut a bit of the very very highs maybe now it doesn't sound that good because of this EQ but when you mix it with the with the leads and so uh, it, it sounds really good and now this final EQ because I felt that it has too much then just a limiter to limit a bit and then uh, two side chains why? well first of all this is the main side chain the kickstar one the one this is the one that adds rhythm to the to the bass line and so on but what happens is that on the on even I cut the very very low end all right here and here you still have a bit of low end all right so what I did is use this side chain that is the one I use in the sub bass but just on the on the low end all right with volume shaper you can uh, split the bands and side chain differently and on the highs I don't have anything because the highs are mainly with this side chain but the very very low I I did a bit of side chain to to go uh, better with the to go better with the sub bass and talking about the sub day the sub bass I'm going now it doesn't matter if you use uh, 3x OSC if you use silence serum it's just a sine wave so I just decided to use this one because it uses less less CPU and it's really simple just um, an, uh, an EQ to cut the highs I felt like as the note change uh, some notes has uh, more power than the others so I reduce it on on some uh, notes of the track of, of the bass so more or less uh, all of them sound at the same level then just a limiter to cut the very peaks and the side chain. This side chain is the same one as as the the one on the on the baseline, but uh, on the sub is on the whole spectrum, and on the baseline just on the on the sub. So they work better. And just that, if we combine them all. The thing is, why I need a different sub base? Why I don't use the sub base of this preset? Well, the thing is that if you use the, um, if you don't cut, for example, on this base and you don't use a sub base, uh, you're gonna have sub base, all right? But the thing is that this baseline is distorted, and you're gonna have a distorted sub, and 
you don't really want that at least on progressive house you want a really clean sub bass so for this reason i use just a sine wave and i i i treat it differently so you don't have that distortion that um muddiness on the on the low end right so if you do it this way you're gonna have a better um sub bass you're gonna have it more cleaner and just that guys real simple uh you just need to think um what basis do you really want i mean you need a lower one and a higher one at least you can find some presets that ha uh, that covers all the spectrum but i always try to use different and just try to eq them uh the best you can as i told you for example if i decrease here i increase on this one if i uh, decrease on this one for example I increase on this one you know and do things like that if you decrease here increase in the same area on the other baseline and you're gonna have a really uh well EQ'd baseline and at the end you're gonna have like you're not gonna have four bases you're gonna have just one you know four bases that work like one So just that guys, if you have any questions leave it in the comments, if you have any suggestions also leave it in the comments, leave a like if this helped with you, subscribe if you're not subscribed and see you in the next video.